Members of the law enforcement community, judges, and those who work with sexual assault victims gathered today at the Mountain Arts Center for a free screening of a documentary that looks at the large number of untested rape kits that sometimes spend years on a shelf. And I felt like my body was a crime scene. I just thought, I'm gonna give them all of this information. They're just gonna go out in a week and catch them. Almost one in two women will be a victim of sexual violence in their lifetime. That doesn't mean that one in two men commit crimes of sexual violence. It's a few bad eggs who do it over and over again. Unfortunately, a lot of times it's somebody the victim knows and trusts. That's most likely who it's going to be, someone close to them, a family member, uh, a boyfriend, a partner, a coach, someone that they know and trusted. Um, but what we know is that when we can believe victims early, when we can do a trauma-informed interview, when we can follow the evidence, give law enforcement and prosecutors the resources they need, keep that victim at the core, um, provide a victim advocate, provide counseling and support and services, explain the process, which is hard, but you know they've survived something really hard already. They can get through the court process. They are stronger than that. We hope that folks will be educated and have awareness and know that there was a problem and that we are working on it. And just to recognize that if you are sexually assaulted, you know where to go, you know that there's people out there that can help you. And we are so thrilled to partner with local law enforcement, local prosecutors, local rape crisis advocates, and ordinary citizens to really change the culture so that we are more victim-centered and offender-focused. 